we are on the eve of a major championship and all we're talking about is what's still the biggest story in golf is probably exactly what Greg Norman wants. You're privy to conversations that we're not. What do you see the end game here? What do you see as being the compromise that's thrashed out? Because this isn't good for golf at the moment. No, it's not. It's it's certainly, if it keeps going the way it's going, it's going to fracture the game. And it's, sorry, it's going to fracture the game more than it already is because this, you know, the professional world in golf has already been fractured. There's so many different tours, so many things to follow. And, you know, I've always been an advocate of trying to make it more cohesive and try to get people to work together more. Um, and this is, you know, ripping, ripping that apart. Um, I think no one would, you know, it's... Like, if people want to spend money in the game, and not regardless of where that money comes from, but, you know, I think if the Saudis are, are hell-bent on, on spending money in golf, like, let's try to get it spent in a way that benefits the wider ecosystem. I think that's where I would like to see it going, but whether that happens or not, that's that remains to be seen. Jay has used the word betrayal. Is that how players see it as well and what sort of reception do you think the defectors will get from their peers this week and from the fans in Boston? Yeah, um, betrayal is a very strong word. Uh, I think it, it it's disappointing. I think the, the, the players that have decided to um, sort of stay on the PGA Tour uh, yeah, they maybe feel slighted in some way or feel like those guys have been selfish because it's for personal gain and, and it, it doesn't help the entire, you know, I think in any industry or any business, we all have to lift each other up and try to make it as best we can for everyone. And uh, I think if you if those guys thought outside of themselves, they'd, they'd see that this wasn't best for everyone. Um, so that's sort of my my point of view on it. But Again, everyone has their own goals and their own ambitions and their own thoughts and uh, and they have to do what, what they feel is right for themselves. You've kind of taken on this leadership role, the, the person that people look to, perhaps even more so than Jay. Is that a position you enjoy or is it another burden you don't really need? It's certainly a burden I don't need, but um, I have pretty strong views on the, on the subject and, and um, I don't think it would be right for me to have these strong opinions and at least not... Um, share them so that there's just a you know there's a there's I think I'm providing the commentary for a different thought process that's yeah. shared by a lot of people yeah. I think that's the thing and I'm put in front of a camera more than most and you know that's why you know everyone's hearing from me all the time about this subject it's I certainly don't want to keep answering questions about it but you know they keep being raised and uh, I'm, I'm doing my best to try to answer them. And look, we need to talk about a major championship this week. I imagine last week was emotionally draining, not just the win, but everything that was going on in the world of golf as well. Are you refreshed and ready to go again, or did it take a lot out of you last week? I think any win takes a lot out of you, and especially going up against the two guys that I did and, you know, the sort of roller coaster of emotions that were uh, happening with, you know, having a big lead, losing it, getting it back again the crowds that yeah the whole thing was you know I, I I made a point to get out here yesterday and at least have a look at the golf course I didn't just want to take the entire day off so it was nice to get out and do something um, but I'm certainly going to be conserving a bit of energy over the next couple of days and make sure that I'm I'm ready to go on Thursday a few people ride these waves of momentum and confidence like you do can you bottle what you had on Sunday and just reproduce it this week um, I hope so. Look, the, the game's feeling good. Um, you know, I really am. I'm, I'm in a good place with everything. So uh, it's just a matter of uh, sort of not getting in my own way, not overthinking it, going out and trusting my ability. And if I if I do that, you know, I'll I'll you know hopefully reproduce the golf you saw last week. Just very finally, Harry's back. Harry's back. Gonna say I haven't seen him yet, but he <laughs> he is in. He did land last night, and I'm looking forward to to getting reunited with him.